Wow, so the new trailer, or teaser trailer for Red Dwarf 11, for the trailer that hits tomorrow, is just out. And straight from the horse's mouth, on Dave, they said, the Red Dwarf 11 trailer will air on Dave tomorrow, 27th of August, between the hours of 1pm and 5pm. It's going to be a very exciting time, guys, and I'm very excited. This is a sneaky glimpse at it, and let us get to the analysis of this trailer. So starting out, we get a little uh, model shot, or sort of special effect model shot, of a fallen ship. Now, it does look kind of similar to a probe or some spaceship. Maybe in the, di in the distance we can see Starbug, the glinting light, f flashing by. So it seems that they may be investigating this uh, ship of some sort uh, in this scene here. Now, given the uh, six synopsis of the six episodes that we have so far i can probably deduct that this will be sort of uh the center of one of the, those episodes where they discover um the ship so i'm guessing this is from samar samsara Sa sorry samsara the the second episode of the show when the dwarfers investigated a crashed ship at the bottom of an ocean moon lister and cap become trapped uh together inside the might drive uh the nightmarish dreams um it could be that or it could be maybe some other thing to do with anything but again i can definitely tell you that the starbug is in the distance in that scene so i'm just guessing that it is something they're investigating and possibly it could, it's to do with that second episode where a dark force controls rimmer and Crichton. that'll be interesting to find out now moving on we have a little red light in the distance and i'm not actually quite sure what it is but um, from the look of it, it is a robot. I don't know, or at least a part of ship, a new corridor that we haven't seen. I'm assuming this is on the ocean sh uh, ship, again mentioned in the second episode, Samsara, um, which is lo sa sounding a bit like, for me, it sounds a bit like back to, er er sorry, not back to reality, where in which they investigate that uh, fallen ship in an ocean. So similar plot, but this time it is a dark force on that ship. Now just moving on from that, the let red light I just mentioned earlier continues to move and we are then introduced to our cast with their bazooka guides which are now back which is very exciting indeed. Not much else to say, this kind of just parallels the picture we got on Facebook a while back on the Red Dwarf official Facebook which I'll leave links in the description but it's basically the main cast with their bazooka guides. Um, the outfits they're wearing, it's, it's pretty similar to what they've been wearing in season 10 and the bazooka guides look really cool new updated look and i would actually recommend checking out that picture um on facebook because it gives you a more in-depth look at those bazooka guides themselves as they investigate this creature or robot in distance our next little picture here from the trailer is from give and take and i think so because it says here after an altercation with a deranged droid lister has his kidney organs kidnapped the only solution is to ask Kat, the most selfish creature in the universe to give him one of this his and it doesn't look too comedic here because i think the whole idea of this episode sounds kind of like fun but from what we see here it could just be a snapshot into the doctor who's working on on lister maybe it's a cyborg or some sort and I can tell that the dark figure in the distance is going to kidnap his organs. So this is going to link in with, you know, a more cat-centric episode where he kind of, you know, has to decide what's best for the crew, what's best for him. And maybe cat becoming a little bit more selfless instead of selfish, which he kind of is all the time. But I'm actually kind of really intrigued because the the dark creature here, I my first guess is a simulant that we saw in series 10. If you remember that last episode, also uh, back in like series four and etc., it could be one of those. You know, a dr um, it does say drained droid here, so it could be a a, a similar cybernetic, not simulant. I'm saying, but like a like half cyborg human type thing. It says droid, so I'm assuming it's more robotic than that. But again, it could be similar enough intentions than a simulant would have you know just trying to steal things get money get the hell out of there and it's gonna be interesting to see how he gets on board the ship and how he gets off and if he if he makes it out alive because usually that's how a lot of plots open up in red dwarf uh, a strange being gets inside the ship now our next shot here definitely reminds me of the episode where they changed the light bulb i can't remember the exact name i think it was white alert or something else uh, sorry white 
um, white hole or one of those episodes where they had to change the batteries on the red alert sign. And there you go, the red alert sign has returned, a fan favourite in that funny comedy scene. Um, nothing else really, but um, it looks like the kind of t season 10 displays have returned. I can tell this is Starbug, obviously you can see Starbug uh, projector thing there. It looks a bit more closeted. I think they're going to have a separate set for where they're going to film the clo the Starbug moments. But this could just be where they've taken a bit of the set and just filmed it from it. Because I don't think it's going to be an enclosed set. I think it's definitely going to be an open set like in Series 10. So, I mean, I hope... I'm, I'm assuming that the sets are quite similar to that of... Uh, this looks different, but I mean, if I had to compare it, it looks a bit more like a ship. Uh, firstly, and it also looks kind of gloomy. So... I don't know why that could be. I think it's just for dramatic purposes, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit more lit up than that in the actual show. So what we can see here, this is definitely um, the ship landing or at least crashing onto some desert planet. If I were to guess, again, I'm, this is all guesswork I'm going on here. This is probably episode 1, Twentica, which is the season opener. And I can tell that because the you know, synopsis says that they're going to an alternate version of America. And that kind of, to me, looks like the American Great West. If it's kind of, if, you know, it's a very, um, it's a very iconic looking image. And I think that could be the American Great West. That could be the Grand Canyon. And they sort of crash into it um, in an alternate universe, which I'm kind of excited about. It's very, it, it does sound similar to Tika to Ride, if you remember from season seven, where they go and, you know, try to find Curry and end up uh, assassinating uh, the president, J uh, of course. Uh, Kennedy and yeah, I think this is gonna be really interesting. I mean, it's not gonna be I don't I don't expect it to be as high budget as that episode I think this is gonna be no, I think it's gonna be like a, like a really like Power down version of that, but I think the alternate dimension definitely brings me a little more interested in it because just in a historical Historical version. I don't know Red Dwarf. It seems to like it, it doesn't seem it seems to put a nice twist to it like in lemons It had a nice twist to the Jesus thing and I think that if they do a good twist to it and, not, and just don't make it paint by the numbers, this could be a really, really interesting episode. So our next image here. Now for me, this appears to be an escape pod. And, you know, we hear the cast all went down to this ocean planet. I think this is an escape pod where they left um, Star behind, they left Red Dwarf behind. And they got into the escape pod and they went down to this ocean planet to... Or sorry, not this ocean planet. Escape pod or some sort of new ship on board. I think actually no, it's not an escape pod. I'm gonna change my mind I think this is a new ship on board Red Dwarf that is used for like looking at on different planets So they could be using this they could be exploring this planet and then stumble upon the dark force again It's gonna be very exciting because We know that there's two dis there's going to be a lot going on down there and um, we don't know whether their ship is gonna get uh, possessed or whether it's a ship in the in the force below um, but again, I can tell you that this ship design, it's interesting to say the least. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I like it too much. It's unique. It's different from what they've had a, a few, uh, before this and after this. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it just yet. We'll see how it integrates with the other ships on board. Uh, hopefully they, ha they still have, well, you know, we know they still have Starbug. But will this like replace Blue Midget or White Midget? Um, I think it will, personally. Now, looking at our next image, this is the... A very interesting image I think and I think this relates in one way this could be something else but I think that what a lot of the images we're in from this trailer are from two distinct episodes one Twentica and two Samsara uh, and also give and take the third episode I don't think they've actually talked about the other three episodes that follow but this one is definitely in my opinion either from Sam or sorry from give and take which is the episode where a, a, a deranged droid comes out and this is definitely kind of definitely has a look for a drained droid it seems like a simulant with more armor on and oh my god it's carrying like a gun of some kind so it definitely looks very dangerous I w i'm really interested to see obviously there's just so much shadow i can't make out anything from this but again it does have that red eye and that is similar to what the simulant wears on one eye so it, it, i think it'll be very similar and our final image of the trailer, we're left with the least exciting bit. It's it's just the cast in the ship, in the innards of the ship. Now, I know obviously it's cast, and there's a Facebook picture that shows them in better light, so we don't really need to focus on them at all. They still have the bazooka guides and torches. But look in the distance, you can see a great little wall image of the inside of one of the ship parts. Now, I did hear in, like, backstage, people who were watching this episode, 
that they say that there are a lot of on location filming and this could be one of those locations i think this could be some sort of factory or something that they filmed them on location but it definitely looks like that this is part of that first and ex the, the most exciting episode in my opinion um the second episode samsara because it's really sounds really ominous i'm gonna say it one more time when the dwarfers investigate a crash ship at the bottom of the ocean moon, Lister and Cap become trapped together, and Lister's nightmares begins. Meantime, meantime, sorry, Rimmer and Crichton discover the ship is controlled by Dark Force. This is it, and I know Lister and Cat are meant to be together, but Lister probably gets separated later on, and it's just Rimmer and uh, Crichton who have to figure out the Dark Force, while Lister and Cat are maybe trapped, and they have to save them. So at the same time, there could be two different, distinct things going on. It sounds really interesting, and I'm really excited. So yeah, there it was. That is the trailer, the teaser trailer, I should say. The proper trailer is coming out tomorrow. I'm definitely going to do a proper analysis on that tomorrow. We'll have lots more information, I think, and I'll definitely be able to pinpoint which episodes they're from. And yeah, it's been really exciting to do that. Of course, I'm going to see the trailers tomorrow, and I'm definitely excited to watch the new series. that starts in September, guys, so make sure to go and watch that. Now, it does look very, very cool. Again, I'm not setting my hopes too high, because obviously the teaser is going to look brilliant. Um, as far as will this have the same amount of cinematic effects in the you know mo the on all so the on location moments in the actual series it's yet to wonder but from this i mean i can tell that at least three or two of the episodes are going to be on location i think there's definitely going to be at least two episodes that are definitely bound on the ship maybe three and I d i'm fine with that i'm okay i think t season 10 did very well was those on location bits on the on the sorry on the <laughs> On the ship but yeah there's a lot of variation here i really really like this so far i'm giving it a thumbs up and i don't know what people are saying in the comments like oh it's not it's not about action red dwarf is about the actual the characters and everything but come on guys if you don't appreciate this trailer just just appreciate it for what it is i mean i can't judge any of the series or any of the episodes but I'm a, i must say i like this teaser trailer anyways i'll be back tomorrow for the analysis of the actual trailer that'd be very very exciting See you then guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video. See you next time, bye.